<laughs> hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm so happy for you guys to be joining me today so today we're going to be doing a natural no shadow very subtle but still a full glam now i typically wear this look when i'm going out with some friends so if i'm going to church and i don't want to do something really big if i'm going to a basketball game literally if i'm going someplace that is not too fancy this is my go-to look I don't use shadow. If I do, I may use some bronzer, which I'll see, you'll see throughout the video. And sometimes I use lashes, but it's really all about how you feel. So let's get right into the video. So today we're gonna start with Anastasia Beverly Hills. We're using her pomade. Typically when using a pomade, especially Anastasia's, it's very creamy, but I'm having a little bit of an issue, but that's because mine is uh, a little dried out. It's been a while. But a tip that you can do is dropping a little like um, eye drops in it, something with that's a little liquidy but light, and just mix it all together. And you have the regular consistency of a pomade. So now I'm taking my Fenty Beauty concealer to clean up my under eyes. Taking my Real Techniques blending brush and I'm just gonna blend out that concealer under my eyes and above it now because we're not using shadow we have to make sure or we want to make sure that it's blended out very seamlessly so that when you take um, pictures the flash won't clock us because we don't need to be clocked But then of course foundation will also cover it up as well. So I'm noticing a little discrepancy with my eyebrows, so I'm just going back and fixing it up. We finished our eyebrows and we're gonna go right into our face so for primer today I'm gonna be using hangover X primer and I'm also gonna be using the Fenty true matte primer now you may want to know why I'm using two different primers so I have combination skin and I normally get oily in my t-zone so I'm gonna be putting the matte in my t-zone and I'm gonna be putting everything else on the perimeter Too Faced primer is really moisturizing and it has um, it has coconut oil in it so that's another reason why it's also so hydrating to the skin and it feels amazing they also have a moisturizer that has SPFF it's bomb it's beautiful it's also from the hangover good to go collection um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for people who have oily skin well the primer that is because of the um, coconut oil and it's you know hydrating factor but for people with matte well with oily skin I would recommend the Fenty primer um, because it is a true matte and it works really well with foundation so I don't know if you guys remember but in my last video I had said that 
I never got to try NARS and I really been wanting to try it, so I got it. Um, so I'm gonna be using the NARS Radiant Natural Longwear Foundation in the color Mana Us. So I'm just gonna put that on my palette and we're just gonna apply it to the skin. And it matches really well with my skin color, so I'm pretty happy with it. And it feels really soft and smooth on the skin. Foundation is done, so now we're gonna move on to highlight and contour. Typically, when I'm doing this look, I normally go really, really gentle and I use the Fenty Matchstick in the color Suede. But I'm gonna switch it up today and I'm gonna try the Soft Mint Complex Concealer in the color Amadad by NARS. And I already gave it a little test, so you can see I used it. But it is a very soft, soft, soft to, to the touch on the skin. I like to let my um, concealer sit down a little bit so it can dry a little bit. And I also take my setting spray and I tend to spray my face so it can dry down a little bit more. And for contour, I'm using the matchstick in the color Espresso. Being that we already started to blend out our contour now, since I let my concealer dry down a bit, I'm taking my damp beauty blender and I'm just gonna blend everything in. to take my expert face brush and I just use this to blend out and blur out all the harsh lines to ensure a seamless blend. All right, and now it's time to set the face. So I'm gonna be taking the Fenty Beauty in the color Honey. And that's, I'm just gonna be using it to set my under eyes and every place that I contoured, well highlighted, sorry. I don't use all the powder that's on the Beauty Blender, so I tap it onto my hand. And because this is a natural glam look or natural face, I'm not gonna be baking for long. So, once we've set our under eyes and everything else that is highlighted, we're gonna be setting our whole face. So I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier translucent powder in the color medium deep to just set my whole face. All right guys, so we're almost done. See, this is not a look that takes a long period of time. For bronzer today, I'm gonna be going in with the True Complex Black Radiance Contour Palette. I'm just gonna bronze up our skin. We finished our face, I'm gonna go into eyeshadow. But again, I'm not using a lot of high shadow. I literally just take my, a bronzer, any type of bronzer. I normally use my full spectrum CoverGirl bronzer and just put that quickly over my eyes. Lashes today, I'm gonna to be using the JV Trading Lashes in the color, in the style, Glamour Girl. I'm gonna do my lashes off camera and I'm gonna come right back in. Oh my God. Y'all, <laughs> that took weight. Lashes are very stressful and this is why I try not to wear them, but I'm also trying to perfect them. That took way too long. But we're back. And <laughs> now we're doing mascara. 
low key I'm afraid to put the mascara on because I'm afraid it's gonna drop off <sighs> it didn't drop off guys hallelujah I'm going in with the Tarte Amazonian Clay in the color Parte. This is a very soft, soft blush. So soft you can't even tell. It's very subtle. Final face, and we're just gonna spray it off with the Morphe setting spray. All right, guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I really like to do this face, especially when I don't feel like having too much makeup on throughout the day, and you can still look really cute with it. You know, if you want to add shadow, you can, you don't have to, and you don't even have to add lashes. I can't even tell you how long it took me to put these on, honestly. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And for my newcomers, once again, welcome. I'm so happy you were able to join this family. So, until next time, bye.